So a question I get often uh, when we're in the whiteboard is, hey Tim, I know that I can change the background to be something else when I add a new page with this add page button here. And if you don't remember, the way you make that happen is you do a touch and hold on that plus button, which is add a new page, and this is where you can change the background. So you can have a different color and different pattern. But what if you wanted one of these patterns and or colors to be the actual default? So every time you fire up the whiteboard, it actually goes to that. And you can make that happen. So the way to do that is to go down here to the settings button, give that a touch, and there's default settings right there. So when we give that a touch, we can choose a different background, but we also have control over the writing utensils. So we can set different defaults for those. We can even change how the eraser acts by default. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, choose a different color and pattern for my background. Let's go with that, let's go with that notebook paper. Now you can see default background change successfully, great. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit this back button right below the house a few times. And what that's gonna do is, that's gonna allow me to exit the whiteboard program entirely. So when I go back to it, it will have my default settings. And so you can change the default settings for your whiteboard, the background, the writing utensils, right here with this settings button, and that allows you to set up your whiteboard in whatever fashion you choose.